I used to love Capri Sun and now I feel like they just taste like liquid sugar. Mm. Uh. Ew. Hi guys, first of all, Happy New Year. It is now 2016, which is crazy to me because to me it feels like it's about 2001 still. And when people talk about like 2007 and then they say it's nine years ago now, that is just ridiculous. Makes me feel so old. But I'm here today with my little fire in the background. How cute is that? And I'm actually in my old room because I'm back in Sheffield and fun little fact, I faked tan last night for the first time in three weeks because if you didn't know I had a boot job I actually vlogged it all so I'll leave the link below if you want to follow my little journey but I had to quit fake tan for a week before that and then it's been two weeks since I had that operation so I fake tanned and I think I went a bit too far I literally look like a TOWIE cast member and I don't know if it's showing up on camera because I've got two lights and they're really really bright so I don't know if it's going to show up but oh my god <laughs> In real life, I'm so orange. Does anyone remember when I used to film in this room though? It's the cutest room ever. It's so pink and girly and it's just so cute. And I've put my most snuggly, big fat jumper on that I could find, which is probably making me look 10 times bigger, but I don't care because it's freezing outside and I don't want to be cold. So I'm bringing you my 2015 favourites and I've got so many, so I'm gonna get cracking and stop rambling, otherwise this is gonna last all I'm going to start out with makeup favourites and my first one I actually discovered like three quarters of the way through the year so I'd say this September time, is that when it came out? I don't know. But this is the Naked Smoky palette. I'm obsessed with this. I've got it on my eyes today. I'm wearing the colour Black Market in the crease. But this is my perfect palette. I love really like cool toned smoky shades on me. I just think they look nicer than warm shades. So this is perfect. The shadows are so blendable and just really, really nice to use. So I would recommend this so much. I always thought Smoky had an E before the Y. Is that just me being stupid or does it? I don't know. If you watch my videos all summer, you will know that this has been one of my favorites for ages and it's the Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess Bronzer. This is a more ready toned bronzer. I've got it on today if you can see it, but it's definitely not a natural contour shade. I do use it as a contour, but I think it works nicely like juxtaposing. Ooh, big word, check that out. Juxtaposing my cool toned eye makeup. I just think it works really nicely just as a bit of warmth on my face. And this is huge. I've used it so much and I'm definitely not going to get through it anytime soon. I've had a favourite powder this year which is really random but this is a Rodeal translucent powder. I use so much of this and I haven't used it in a while because I've been using my Makeup Forever HD but this is basically that but a pressed powder form and it's really really good. It doesn't make you look cakey at all, it just takes away the shine and it's super good. My foundation favourite through summer was the YSL Touche Clat foundation. This is a medium coverage foundation and it's super glowy which is so random that I loved it in summer because I normally get quite shiny but I just found that if I use this and then set my shiny places with the Rodeal powder it just stayed in place all day and it was a really nice dewy looking foundation so I loved that one but right now for the winter time I've been loving the Makeup Forever Ultra HD. I'd say it's got the same amount of coverage as the YSL one but it's not as dewy. It still is really dewy but just not as dewy. I really really like Makeup Forever products. That brand in itself is probably a favourite. Moving on to eyeshadow, I've been loving this Burberry single eyeshadow and to be fair I only got this because it's number 9 which is my favourite number and it's called Rosewood which is the town in Pretty Little Liars but I actually have loved the shade this year. It's just a really muted like taupey purpley shade and it looks gorgeous with something darker run through the crease or just on its own if you're in a rush. It's really, really nice this one. A contour product that I've loved is the 17 Define and Conquer contour kit. It comes with a contour powder and a highlighter and this has just been one of my loves this year. I have it in two shades the light and the dark one and I love both of them and this is just a really good product if you're wanting a quick contour with no fuss, it's really good. An eye product that I've been loving all year long is the Makeup Forever Aqua Cream in the shade 13. I used to use this all the freaking time. This is actually a new one that I bought last time I was in New York and I haven't used it that much towards the end of the year but in summer this was my absolute jam. It literally sticks to your eyelid 
and you can just use it on its own it looks really nice like a champagne colour but you can also put shadows over it and they just will not crease at all I always find that my MAC ones crease but that one doesn't and an eyebrow product that I've loved is the Hourglass Brow Arch in the shade Dark Brunette this is just a triangle kind of shape it's a lot thicker than the Anastasia one but I think it works really well if you're in a rush and you want to do your eyebrows because it is thicker so it takes a lot less time. A lip product that I have loved this year is the Bite Beauty lip colour in the shade Truffle. This is just a dark purple and if you've seen me this autumn time wearing a dark purple lip with winged liner it is this. It's gorgeous, it's like a semi matte finish it's not completely matte so it doesn't dry your lips out but it's definitely not uh, shiny. It's a really nice formula and it just stays on all day long and at the end it comes with a little pencil sharpener which is the cutest thing I've ever seen. How could I do this video without mentioning the NARS Copacabana highlighter? This has been my absolute jam this year. I've got it on today but I don't have too much on today so it might not look as good as it does when I have a lot on. This is a really really good highlighter. It's the most like bam in your face highlighter. It's incredible. I love this. It, it makes you look even more dewy I think because it's a cream product and I'm going to be using this for years and years because I think it's fabulous. I've loved full MAC eyeshadows this year, mostly towards the end of the year but still they count. And it's this quad. I've got Satin Taupe Fig Number 1 Sketch and Beauty Marked and I've just been loving these. I've put Satin Taupe all over my lid. Fig Number 1 kind of from the middle to the end of my eye. Sketch in the crease and then Beauty Mark just to darken it up and I think it looks stunning. A lip combination that I was obsessed with earlier in the year is the Kiko Lip Pencil in the shade 300 which is like a darkish, a darkish nudie brown and then the Soap and Glory Gloss Stick in the shade Nudist over the top. It looks stunning. I love this combination. I'm going to start wearing it again because I've just rediscovered them. There's been one standout primer for me this year and it's been the Insta Blur from The Body Shop. This keeps me matte all day long and I love this so much. And then my final beauty favourite has been the Soap and Glory Smolder Coal in the shade Black. This is better than every single high-end eyeliner I've ever tried and I think it's a fiver. Honestly this is so good. If you're looking for a new black eyeliner for your waterline this one stays on all day long. It literally does not budge on me and it comes with a pencil sharpener on the top so you can sharpen it which is just so handy. I love this. Okay moving on to body products. The first one that I've loved so much is the Hawaiian Kukui Cream and this is from The Body Shop. Mine is literally nearly empty, I've already gone and bought another because I think it's incredible. The smell is so nice, seriously go and smell this if you're near a body shop. And I just use this all over my body to moisturise before I fake tan. It doesn't make my fake tan go on weird, it makes it go on so much nicer and it clears up my dry skin. And this is just my all time favourite body cream ever. And to go along with that, I've been loving the African Zemia Scrub. I think that's how you pronounce it. And this is just a scrub that I use in the shower to exfoliate my fake tan off. So once I've had it on for like a couple of days, I'll just use that in the shower, buff it into my skin and it gradually gets the tan off, which is really good. And it's not too harsh as well, the beads in it are really small. Two more skincare products that I've loved is the Lizil Cleanse and Polish. Obviously I've loved this. This has been in nearly all of my routine kind of videos because I use it every single day and I haven't gone a long period of time without using this. It just cleared up my skin really well. And the Liz Earl Hand Repair. This is so good if you've got dry hands. Seriously, pick this up. My, it's the only thing that clears up my mum's dry hands and she gets like really, really dry hands. So this works wonders. On to a few scents that I've loved this year. The first one is the Body Shop Vanilla Body Mist. I've used so much of this. This is one of my all time favourite scents. I'm going to have to spray it now. Oh, it's so nice. This smells like vanilla, obviously, but it doesn't smell like sweet vanilla. It smells more like a musky kind of vanilla. I just think it's so nice. And I loved the mango one in summer. As you can see, I used quite a bit of this one as well. This is just really fruity and nice, and whenever I wore it, I got so many compliments. And then as a more kind of perfume than a body mist, 
I have loved my Elizabeth and James Nirvana. I've had this in two rollerballs now and this massive size. I finally bought the massive size because I was just like, Gabby, you love it so much, just buy it. So this was like $100 in America, which is absolutely ridiculous. I never thought I'd be one of them people who spent that much on a perfume, but this is just my holy grail scent. I'm obsessed with it. It's like deep and musky, but vanilla-y at the same time. It reminds me a lot of the Body Shop Vanilla one, but in just more of a kind of nighttime scent. I don't know how to really describe it, but if you can, give this a smell. Oh, also, I loved Prada Candy in the summertime. This has got literally none left. This was so well loved. <laughs> it's super sweet and girly. Oh my God, I'm gonna have to buy this again. Oh, love it. A hair product that I've loved is the Batiste Stylist Texturizing Spray. I did a video for Batiste and I used this in it and since then I've gone and bought four of them and I've just used them every single day. You just pop a bit in your roots and it gives you a lot of volume. I can't not mention my Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream. I've currently got one, two, four in my bedroom and about three in my bag because it's what I use every day. People always ask what I use to keep my lips moisturised and it's this, the original one. I don't like the fragrance free one, it makes my lips peel and I don't know why but I really like the original one. Moving on to films and TV shows and music and everything like that, I have been loving four films this year and the first one is Notting Hill. This is my all time favourite film ever. I am obsessed with it. It's the sweetest little love story, but it's not too cringy. Like, it's more like a real life love story. I don't know. If you haven't seen this, seriously give it a watch. It's got Hugh Grant in and Julia Roberts, and they're two of my favourite actors ever. So, this is just so good, and I love Spike. And the next ones are The Hunger Games, obviously. I've got The Hunger Games. Catching Fire and Mockingjay Part 1 here. I would have Mockingjay Part 2 if it was out on DVD. Oh, I just dropped it. But it's not out yet, so this is just the best. Literally the best. All of these DVDs have got five stars from like every magazine and stuff because they're just so good. It's like an action series, kind of. Uh, again, I don't really know how to describe it without like ruining what happens, so just watch it, seriously. Even if you're not into action or anything, just watch it anyway. Another film that I've loved is the new James Bond film Spectre. I really want to go and see it again. I saw it with Hobby and I I think I enjoyed it more than him to be honest. I was like on the edge of my seat all the way through. A favourite that kind of goes along with the media kind of bracket is my vlog channel and this year my vlog channel hit 100,000 subscribers. It's now getting close to 500,000 which is insane but it hit 100,000 so I got a little play button. These are like YouTube's little way of saying well done you hit 100,000 and you get one at a million too but Obviously neither of my channels have a million so I've just got these ones but I love them so much. They just stand on my shelves and they make me so proud every day but I just want to say thank you so much. Specifically those of you who subscribe to my vlog channel as well and watch literally every single video that I post. It honestly means so much to me and I just can't believe that my vlog channel even got to 100,000 never mind getting close to 500. It's just insane to me so thank you so much and I've loved vlogging. This was terrific represent vlogging <laughs> but I just wanted to say thank you as well. Oh how can I forget my A phone case? <laughs> how sad is this? I love Pretty Little Eyes so much that I've got a phone case. It's quite embarrassing but it's also really not because it's the best show ever. Which moves us on to TV shows. Obviously the first one is Pretty Little Liars. I mentioned this way too much in my video so I'm not even gonna go there in this one but that has just been a massive favourite and I can't wait for it to come back in 11 days. <laughs> <laughs> Another favourite was Bates Motel. This was based on the film Psycho, which I actually watched about two seasons into Bates Motel. I was like, dude, I want to know more about this. So I went and watched Psycho and I really enjoyed that. But it's what happened before the Psycho film came out. So it's about Norman Bates and his mom Norma Bates. And it's just a really addictive TV show. It's got a bit of grit behind it as well. Norman has a few too many problems going on in his head, put it that way. If you haven't watched it, seriously give it a watch. It is one of the best TV shows I've come across this year. And also The Vampire Diaries, I finished that and I'm all caught up and I cried so much at the last episode even though I don't like Elena. I like Catherine and stuff, but I never liked Elena, but I just found it so sad anyway. <laughs> I need to find my phone because I had all my favourites written down on my phone and I don't know where I've put it, so I'm just trying to remember them. Phone! 
Oh, found it. Oh my god, Prison Break. How did I forget that? Prison Break was another one of my favourite shows. That show is so intense. But I only enjoyed the first two series. I didn't enjoy three and four. Four was better than three. I hated three. I just watched it to get through it. But the first two are incredible. You need to watch that. My favourite music this year. This is a good category. Ariana Grande has been a firm favourite throughout 2015. I was putting off listening to her music and I don't know why but I just was and then I listened to it and I fell in love and she's now my number one artist and then it's Taylor Swift and Selena Gomez tie. But Ariana, her My Everything album is one of my favourites ever and also yours truly, I love it. And I love Focus as well. I didn't like the man in it at first, but now I really like it. Selena Gomez's revival album has been a firm favourite too. I've loved that so much. One Direction made in the AM, obviously. Just One Direction in general, they are bays. And two YouTube music kind of people that I've been loving. Obviously my bestie Hobby Stewart. Shout out to you Hobster. He has the best voice ever. And we actually did a cover together, which is another one of my favourites this year. I'll link it below if you haven't heard it. We did a little mashup of Ellie Goulding. Oh my god, I can't even remember the songs. But we did a little mashup and I loved that. Hobby has the best voice. I've been to every one of his shows this year basically that have been around me, like his Brighton and London ones and I just think he's incredible. And also Dodie Clark. Two of her songs are two of my favourite songs. The song She and also the song I don't know what it's actually called. She popped it up recently. I'll write on screen what it's called but I love that. The tune of it is just amazing to me and I just love it. Now we're on to YouTube favourites and this is the last category. I'm sorry if this video has been so long but I've had so many favourites this year. So to start it off, I have loved Beauty Life Michelle. She's more of a makeup channel and I've really, really loved her chatty makeup videos and I don't really watch makeup videos anymore. I only really watch hers, which says something. I just love them so much. So if you like makeup, or even if you don't like makeup videos, she's just really calming and like nice to listen to. I've been obsessed with the Mitchell acts, like way too obsessed. It's actually got quite kind of creepy. I feel like I know more about their life now than they know about their life. <laughs> but I've loved watching their vlogs this year. If you don't watch them, they're like little works of art. So I'm gonna leave them below and you should subscribe and watch their vlogs every week. Their weekly vlogs are amazing. Brogan Tate is another one with the weekly vlogs that I love. Her weekly vlogs are just so funny, like I just think she's so funny. She's just so down to earth and I've loved her weekly vlogs as well, so go subscribe to Brogan. Fabulous Hannah, I've loved her whole channel. She's got a main channel and a vlog channel and I really, really want you guys to go and subscribe to Hannah because I think she's on like 22,000 subscribers, I'm not too sure, but she deserves so 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 many more and she's going to be vlogging more this year so subscribe to her vlog channel as well because she's so funny. Lily Melrose's vlogs I've loved and Lily Pebbles, Remy Ashton and Tara Michelle, I think it's Tara Michelle, Tara Masicot, Masicot, I don't know, I never studied her surname but I've loved Remy and Tara, they're like my standout Americans that I've watched this year and Aspen and Parker. I watch Aspen's vlog channel. I don't really watch her main channel but that's because I don't really like like beauty girly girly videos so her vlog channel has been amazing. She got married this year at 19 which I think is so nice like if you're in love why not? <laughs> I've loved following those two though, and Tara and Remy. And that concludes my 2015 favourites. Leave me a comment, say parsnips, if you made it to the end of this video, and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And also, this year I'm making a bid with myself to vlog more. I'll leave my vlog channel linked below. And also, just to keep chilled with this channel because I got to a point where I really didn't enjoy it. I'd gone through like four months of really not enjoying it because I've been putting too much pressure on myself to post videos that I feel like you would want to watch and not post videos that I really wanted to film. I've got these new lights now which is amazing because I used to have to film in daylight and that used to stress me out so much too because when it got to winter, I had between about 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. to film my videos. And sometimes you just can't get them done in that amount of time, so I would just be so stressed about it, and I just wasn't happy. So this year, I'm taking it way more chilled. I've got my new lights, so I can film literally at any time of day, and I just want to film the videos that I really want to make. 
and that I'm more passionate about so hopefully you'll like that. I feel like I'm gonna go back to 2014 Gabby who just was so chilled with everything. <laughs> Anyways, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you're looking forward to more chilled out videos and I will see you in my next one. Bye! Love ya! <laughs>